everyone, I'm here to tell you all about why you should pick A-level English and give you a bit of an overview of what we study in lessons and the types of things that you will be expecting. So we'll begin with a course um, overview to talk through what that's about. So first of all, um, we should make it clear that you get two A-level teachers and they teach you two sides of the course. The first side is tragedy and the second side is crime. So to begin with, I'll talk about crime. So I'm going to explain what we do when we look at crime literature. We look at questions to do with how a criminal is presented, to what extent do we think they are punished, to what extent do we think justice is served in the crime text. We only actually study three texts um, on this side of the course and there's an unseen element. So the first text we study is quite a famous one, it's Oliver Twist, and we look at the presentation of child criminality, um, whether people commit crimes as a result of society or as a result of what they need. Please sir, I want some more. What? Please sir, I want some more. <laughs> So the great thing about studying Oliver Twist is it links nicely to your knowledge of Victorian London and Charles Dickens from when you study A Christmas Carol. Um, it gives us an opportunity to look at Fagin as a criminal and to what extent he is a kind of manipulator and exploits these children um, and exploits the poor and to what extent he is a product of his society as well. Um, a really interesting text which everybody always enjoys. We also study the modern novel Atonement, which essentially explores what happens when somebody um, gives a witness statement that is false and the kind of repercussions of that and doing that when you're a child. And it explores crime in war and um, ideas of justice from childhood to adulthood. And it's a great modern text, um, a really um, interesting film adaptation as well, which we look at. And finally, we look at five poems that are all about different criminals and criminal minds and their actions and motives, including three from Robert Browning, one by George Crabb and one by Oscar Wilde. And they look at the punishment system, they look at what people do to commit crimes and how they commit those crimes and the violence involved. And that is um, the crime course. Sure here, and I'm going to speak to you about what you do in A-level English literature on the tragedy side of the course. So the tragedy side of the course is great because you get to explore some of the real titans of English literature, some of the biggest and most famous writers in the world. We study Shakespeare, we study Arthur Miller, and we study John Keats. Um, there's a real broad range of texts. Um, we read lots of poetry and lots of plays. And as we read them, we really consider and think about what makes a piece of literature tragic what makes a tragedy what makes the audience really feel strongly about what's happening or what they're reading we studied death of a salesman by arthur miller which is a seminal text it's a domestic modern tragedy which really explores the plights of the average man of a normal man who goes through tough time what is this we study othello by william shakespeare othello is a wonderful play which really explores people's most innermost passions and innermost emotions and how exerting power over people is fundamental to how we live and ultimately how jealousy can tear someone apart and it's a brilliant brilliant play so many different reasons why i love teaching a level english um, firstly, I love that we look at groups of texts by theme. I love the freedom that you have at A-level that you just don't have at GCSE. Um, there's a whole section of the course where you will have a non-examination assessment where you've got the freedom to explore your own area of interest and develop an argument based on a text that you, of your own choosing. And I just find that really fascinating. Um, and alongside that, we've got an A-level only book club in which you spend some time reading classic books but also some really modern texts and having a really informal opportunity to talk to each other and your teachers about some really interesting books um i also love the absolute depth of knowledge that you get about the text that you study at a level um i still remember the text that i studied for my own a level and 
I find it fascinating how much depth and how much detail you can get out of the understanding of your text when you're studying it at A level. Um, I mean, for me, it's a, it's a no-brainer. English is potentially one of the most interesting and exciting subjects that you could take because it opens your eyes to the world. So you're allowed to see parts of the world that you probably never even knew existed and then you're able to discuss about why they are so fundamentally important to the world in which we live. Moreover than that, taking an English at A-level, which could lead you on to any number of courses at university or even lead you into an English degree will set you up for life because it will provide you with really, really good communication skills. You'll be able to analyse text, analyse letters, analyse what people say to you and understand what they really mean deep down. Because it's an essay subject and it's also a facilitating subject, it means that often universities look on English really favourably and realise that if you're taking English at A-level, then you are a thorough and conscientious student who is able to express themselves clearly and fluently in a variety of ways. So I was really interested in uh, English GCSE, going through multiple types of poems and um, uh, texts and then going further with it by actually studying a a genre so crime and tragedy in it, in itself and learning more about that and then reading all these um texts and poems about it and just broad broadening the knowledge of um english which i was quite interested in uh one of the main reasons was because i really like reading and english is very reading based and i just really like the subject because you can be creative and there's not really a wrong answer Whereas other subjects are like, no, right answer, wrong answer. But English, as long as you can explain something, you don't need to be wrong or right, as long as you have an opinion on why you're answering. Um, I chose to take English because, like, during year 10 and 11, I felt very, like, confident with it. And it was one of my strongest subjects. So I thought it was a subject where you could like relax a little bit and express yourself rather than be told that there is specific answers that should be given. Um, they're, they're, they're sort of similar with each term we'll be going through um, either a poem or a text. Um, so starting with Death of Salesman Tragedy, um, and um, the poems in um, in crime, but the way they're different is that you'll have two different teachers, and um, and each will go over either crime or tragedy. So it's all in the sense of it's it's not completely different, so that it won't feel quite intimidating when you first join. All you've got to know is that you have two different teachers for two different um, genres, and you'll be going through poems in one lesson, and then maybe a text in another. So it's it's similar. So it's not intimidating at all. I think they're so different to GCSE. Like people who tend to not find like their voice in GCSE lessons are would feel much more confident in A level lessons because the environment is like it's more safe and no one judges you and you just feel like your opinion is accepted and it's more of like a debate rather than just just certain people giving their answer every time and the teachers like to encourage you to give answers all the time and if you're being quiet they encourage you rather than just you know nudge you so personally after a level i want to go to a drama uni and for people who might be going down the same path or similar path a lot of drama unis actually ask for um um audition tapes that involve doing a Shakespeare monologue or soliloquy. So just by doing English and just by studying a bit of Shakespeare, especially in, tra- in tragedy, just learn more and more about how Shakespeare wrote how, um, or how it influenced other writers um, can really help with my auditioning process. Uh, well, after A-levels and that, I want to go to uni to study civil law. 
and English would be very helpful because you obviously you have to read all the laws and understand them, get in depth about them and English can help with that because you can understand more words obviously and it helps you dive deeper and be able to understand without having to go over and over it. You can be like, okay, English taught me this is this, so I can take that out, use that and broaden horizons that way. I had my mind set from a young age that I wanted to be like something in medicine so that's what I based my two sciences on, which is chemistry and biology. But I decided to take English because it's it's kind of comforting and relaxing rather than like having the stress of doing everything to do with medicine. I- um, I'm planning on studying social work or primary education at the University of Gloucestershire. Um, and studying English has really helped me to understand how society has changed and how um, we've sort of developed a society. So from learning about things such as feminism and Marxism and also about like the patriarchy that we used to have. Uh, I want to do sports journalism at university. So English has helped because it's given me a chance to sort of make my own ideas and write essays around them. Um, here in English, we've had loads of really good opportunities. Um, so from going to the Cheltenham Literature Festival, um, which meant that we were able to um, watch authors talk and listen to them live and kind of get an understanding of how they write and why they write certain things, which is a really great opportunity. Um, and then we also have book club here in English, which has allowed us to sort of grab an understanding of loads of different genres of um books and literature but also to get an understanding of perspectives of other people and how they see the book not just how we see the book Um, and we also got the opportunity to have an RSC like live showing which allowed us to see the perspective from the audience and to understand William Shakespeare a bit more which um, helped us to write our essays a bit better. My favourite text is Oliver Twist because obviously it's a longer one than the poems so it gives you more stuff to sort of look into like their setting and character and it's quite interesting. I enjoy studying Definite Salesman which is um, one of the first texts or um, plays that we study in tragedy. Um, generally I think it's quite a good starter for English A level because you, you, le- you learn um, a set amount of new information which is really interesting like the American Dream. Um, the ideas of capitalism and um, and then the um, tragic uh, tragic conventions or the elements of tragedy, while also um, also going back to the things you might have learned in previous years, like Hamasha's, um the tragic hero, tragic villain. So I think it's a good starter. Favorite text is Atonement because it allowed me to understand um, the criminal behavior. It sort of broke the stereotype of. A criminal and the character of Bryony allowed me to see into the criminal mind a bit more.